Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and in just a few days it's going to mark our 10th anniversary of living full-time in the, the old Cougar here but over that time with all the sun, desert sun and sun here in the summer some of the graphics are starting to fade and crack and peel you can see that big swoosh there really, really bad on the top ones especially right up on the corner there that one's quite cracked and another one that's cracked is the one above the slide right up there so I've had to make a decision what to do with these graphics and I've sort of decided I'm going to start taking them off as they fail and kind of play it by ear I have found a few uh, websites that sell exactly these graphics that I could buy but um, I don't know if I need so many swooshes and swoops and all that kind of junk. So I'm just going to take some off and see how it looks and go from there. The big cougar graphic is not is cracking, but it's cracking in a spot that's not too bad. It's actually mostly cracking in this white here. And it kind of, from a distance, you don't really notice because it kind of blends into the normal cracks the mountain had. So they're, they'll probably last a a bit longer as far as the the lettering graphics they're not too bad they're slightly slightly faded but they're not cracking or anything so let's go around this side and I'll show you some have already taken off okay so I took one off right about there another small one by the awning and yesterday I just finished taking off the top ones here so it doesn't look too bad. You can kind of faintly see where they were, but most people wouldn't even notice, especially once I give everything a good cut wax and wax. Anyway, today I thought I'd show you my procedure I've been using, and you can always give me some more advice if you think of a better way. But I'm gonna take this big <clears throat> swoosh right here because it's getting pretty bad on the front right there see all the cracking so it's gonna go so here's my workflow kind of a heat gun here and I set it on pretty low down near the low point I don't want to you know melt the the vinyl if you hit too much heat I find that the thing will just kind of melt and turn really hard and then it just breaks off uh, so I find the graphics that uh, if they're in pretty good shape a little bit of heat and they'll peel right off and the good thing about that if I can slowly peel them back it takes the bulk of the glue and adhesive with it but I find when I get down to this cracking part it just starts to break off because obviously this stuff's dried out and become really cracked so at that point I have to hit a little harder with the heat and I use my uh, hive tool my metal scraper to continue on and I get rid of the rest of the vinyl this is called a hive tool if you've watched my videos you've seen me use it a lot for sealants and stuff basically the edge isn't sharp it's kind of a, a dulled edge so I find if I'm careful I won't damage my fiberglass or whatever they call it phylon coating so but it's got a, a pretty good force to it because it's metal it doesn't bend or anything you can get stuff called plastic razors and and different plastic scrapers but I find this tool works really well for the job so I go along with my heat and I use the scraper and I get rid of the, the rest of the vinyl we call them decals I hear Americans call it decal but anyway the graphic and then after that I'm left with the adhesive to remove what I found works pretty good for me and it's pretty inexpensive is mineral spirits now I, have to, I can't stress enough, you'd have to try this on your RV in some spot. I don't want you know people to go and put this on and ruin their finish or something. But on my rig, I've been using it and it doesn't seem to harm anything. And what it does is it softens up the adhesive or the glue. And then I can continue with the scraper and it softens it up enough that I can scrape. Kind of balls it up like a, a big hunk of sticky snot and then I can remove that slowly get the bulk of the adhesive off with that then i use this la's totally awesome which is pretty good at removing oils and gums and stuff it's kind of a, a less 
aggressive as this. This stuff's really good for black streaks as well. So I go hit it with that. And then sometimes I have to go back again with that a little bit just to clean up the rest. And finally, I use some uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropic alcohol, usually like 70%. Spray it on and wipe it off. And of course, I'll, I'll wax the area after that. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, hook up the camera and give you kind of a time lapse of me taking off one of these graphics. So you can see the graphic that was still in pretty good shape peeled off fairly easily. So I went with that until I started to hit the portion that was starting to dry out. We're getting towards the cracked area. And then it starts coming off in tiny little chunks. And so now I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to really heat the graphic and, and, and uh, peel it off with the scraper. So it seems sort of painstaking to slowly try to peel this stuff off with my fingers, but it saves time in the long run and a lot less chemical use. I don't know if you can see here, but there's the shiny part. That's where I was able to peel the, the decal off without leaving any glue behind. Anywhere that I have to leave, like you can see here, it's sticky, not here. So anywhere where I left some of the adhesive behind now I'm gonna to have to go and uh, use the chemicals to try to get rid of that and I tell you it's much easier if you can just get this part off and keep the adhesive backing on the deco itself anyway I'm getting to the hardest part here where it's quite checked so I may have to just bite the bullet heat it up and and peel it off with the scraper buying a lot of time for mineral spirits I'm just going to let it uh, soak into the glue and I'll be able to come along with my scraper scrape it off. So it kind of forms like a little ball like that. If it's hotter it kind of turns into a, kind of like a, a sticky snot. Okay, most of the glue is gone. Now I'm going to hit it with some LA's totally awesome cleaner and get rid of most of the rest of it and a lot of the dirt around it. We'll finish it off with isopropic alcohol. And to finish it off, I just put a quick coat of wax on it. That didn't come out too bad. You can see the different color where the, the graphic was, so that'll come in handy if I want to put a new graphic on. I don't know exactly where to where to put it. But came off pretty good. As you can see, it gets kind of picky when you get to the cracked parts. I don't know if there's much you can do about that. Either you... Uh, are picky about getting all the vinyl off and you have less glue to get rid of or you use the heat and get the vinyl off and then you got a lot of adhesive left to to deal with so there's all kinds of different products on 
on the market if anybody has any tips on products or some other method feel free to leave them in the comments and there's the final look a little bit more bare but I'm fine with it like I said I think what I'm gonna do is just slowly peel them off as they get bad and then I'll make the decision on what exactly I want to do but I think it's a good idea if I take my time and peel them off one at a time rather than wait and then have a massive job on my hands getting them all off so thanks for watching folks until next time, Ray from LoveTheRV.com. Now I can enjoy the afternoon. Hey, Mr. Eagle, what do you think of that? He's been watching me the whole time. Good job, Ray. Really good job. <laughs>